Hey, Sam Aggie here, welcome to this video. Now I'm excited today to show you this software, it's called Board Commander, and down below you're gonna find out more about it as well as some bonuses that are available. Now this is basically like a social media management tool. Um, it works for Pinterest. You don't often hear about social media management softwares for Pinterest. I don't recall any being released in the past. Pinterest is kind of a forgotten social network. It's great for if you're looking to advertise your business, looking to advertise your products. It works best with certain businesses. So say, for example, obviously health, fitness. Um, you know, if we were to search health, for example, people post pins or pins, pin posts to a um, board. And basically then from there, other people can check them out. Here, we use Pinterest. Um, you know, for me, I, I actually use it to get... Uh, recipes and occasionally I'll check it out online to get a few ideas but it's got a really good community a lot of people use this and you can see here some of the images are really quite nice now you can see at the end of these posts there's always a URL so these people are marketing their business as a result of posting to Pinterest now you can follow people who um, you know are posters on Pinterest so say for example if I was to go to the top here and I was to look at who actually posted this um, I could go ahead and I could follow this person. I could also pin this. I could um, go ahead and find out about their website as well, as you can see I'm doing right now. And it's a really good way of um, tapping into this community to hopefully, um, and I can save it for later as well. Uh, it's a good way of um, tapping into this community to generate more traffic. And a lot of people use Pinterest for many different reasons, especially when it comes to, say for example, um, you know, uh, anything to do with e-commerce. You can follow people, you can unfollow people. When you follow people, people notice that you've followed them and they can then follow you back. Now, Board Commander takes the manual process out of uh, Pinterest. It basically gives you the ability to run campaigns through this system. You can then go ahead and pin different items. You can generate followers and you can go ahead and um, you know follow other people. First of all, go add new campaign. Then from there, name your campaign. So it might be leads that have actually got one of my boards that I've selected for traveling entrepreneurs. This is um, one of my um, pin, pin uh, boards, I guess. Then from there, go next. Choose the setting. So how many pins do you want to do per day? Now you can choose, obviously, to add a range of different images every day. You could add 100 images to post. And they're not going to go out every day, but you can actually select what days these are going to go out. We can set a start time. We can then go ahead and set an end time for this happening. And those are the times between these times that these pins will be sent out. So we could actually make it between peak hours um, from, for example, 1 p.m. till 11 p.m. Then from there, don't pin some same pin for uh, enter number of days when you're going to be pinning the same pin. Um, you could say for 30 days, so it means 30 days. That means that you won't be reposting the same image um, every 30 days. You could say that after 30 days, you can post the same images you've posted in the past. And most people on Pinterest, they're always looking at different things. So chances are that they won't see it. You'll be engaging your audience and that you'll be engaging people that have joined you since then. So it's fine to rotate your posts if that makes sense. Then from there, go ahead and choose a board or enter the URL where you, um, whose pins you want to basically go ahead and repin. So choose where to pin from. Now these could be you know, different boards um, that are on Pinterest. And basically what you're getting is you're getting content that you can repost. So you can go ahead and select the URL of a board that you want to repost from. So I could, for example, go and I could enter in this person's board over here. So I could go books worth reading. We'll select this URL and I can enter this into Board Commander and click Add. And it's basically added there and it'll get content from there. So you want to get active boards that are in the same niche as you. And then you can go ahead and grab posts from them and repin them on yours. Do you want to activate? Yep, submit. We've activated it and click finish. From there, we've now gone ahead and we've, um, we've activated our campaign. It's running, it's ready to go. And then we can look at how to build traffic to our campaigns. So from there, what we can do is we can go and we can go ahead and go follow or new follow task. And we can find people that we're going to go ahead and follow. Now, when you follow someone on Pinterest, what it means is that they see that you're following them and they might click through and, you know, if they've got similar interests to you, they might then go ahead and follow your board back. So you're entering in the details, followed by keyword, 
follow by account. I could enter on people's accounts to follow. I could also follow by boards, so I could enter people's boards and then find the boards that people are joining and follow those, or follow people that are joining them. Users never to follow, I can enter in users that I don't want to follow. And I can choose when again I want that start time to begin. And when I want it to end. Then I can select which days I do the following on, and I can click start. Now what this is doing is it's starting my follow campaign within Pinterest, I've activated it, and now I'm going ahead and following people. Then once you're following people, it's important to unfollow them so you don't look like you're following everyone but no one else is following you back. So you can actually set up an unfollow task, which means that if people stop following you, you can unfollow them back. So you can choose what dates you want. So you could say unfollow users, unfollow after 10 days, uh, minimum unfollows per day, we could say 100, okay, or we can even say 80, and then maximum unfollows per day. We could say 200, for example. If we're following a lot of people, we want to make sure that we can remove them from the account and we can um, you know, uh, make sure we don't look like we're following everyone but no one else is following us. We go ahead, select our details, we add um, whether we want any additional accounts, when this campaign will start, 2 p.m., and we'll finish it at, say, 11 p.m. Then click Save. Again, we've now started our unfollow, unfollow tasks. Now you can find group boards. Now these group boards are basically places that, uh, or niches that you might be able to join or find new people to follow in or different boards to look at and um, follow as well or unfollow. And you can go through the software very easily by clicking on these, searching through keywords and finding boards that might you know, suit your market. Cool. So it's not showing me any for online marketing. I'm just going to search all category and you can search through here. So some of the data it gets is good. Um, if we search fitness, a larger niche that's more popular on Pinterest, then we find more. So online marketing, you won't find too much here. You're not going to find too many groups related to other um, uh, you know, online marketing, but you will find some in fitness. You will find some in health. And these will give you boards that you can follow within them. From there, you can manage Pinterest accounts through this. You can add multiple Pinterest accounts if you're working with multiple businesses, for example. And then you can go ahead and see your pinning history. You can see your board performance and your follower growth as well as you build up more of a following and as you've used the software for longer. Cool, here you go. You can see my follower growth. Uh, my followers have increased substantially on the 21st of uh, this month, of the 4th. So that's 21st of January, February, March, April. Now, why was I able to increase my followers by that much? Um, obviously, started up the software, used the software, and it's been able to increase my following by that much. Now, as I add more people, it'll increase even more, and as more people add um, get added, then it will increase even more as well. Cool, so that's how the software works. This is what you'll be able to do with the software. If you have an interest in being able to leverage um, boards, uh, boards on uh, Pinterest as a traffic source, then this software is going to give you the ability to do that. Again, it's an uncommon search engine or social media network. It's one that I'm particularly unfamiliar with. I haven't actually used Pinterest much in my market, um, you know, much of my marketing. Um, I have used it a lot when it comes to, um, you know, finding recipes and finding information. So there is a community here, and you can tap into that community, hopefully, with this software. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Becker. I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.